Hi, welcome to the GF channel. In today's episode, uh, I'm going to show you some secret, uh, undocumented, hidden, call it whatever you want, functions of the keyless unit of the 6 to 6, at least the facelift version. Um, now, I'm not gonna do any modifications, just gonna show you the functions. They will lead to some modifications in the future, uh, some near future, some not so near. But they are quite interesting. First, uh, how to remove this? Well, you need to open the door, remove this, and then use a 10 millimeter socket wrench to remove the bolt and take it out. That's all. Uh, now, how, how I decided to do that? Uh, I didn't read on the internet anything. It just happened so that my one of my buttons, the lock one uh, of the remote, started uh, going wrong. Uh, like I clicked multiple times to lock and it doesn't lock every time. So I decided to actually switch them. And uh, because I do not um, do not want different sounds, I actually switched both of them. And I had one remaining in a working state. And then I saw at the bottom there was a pad, unsoldered pad, for a button. And I decided, well, let's solder it and see what happens. There is a, only one missing element, this C11, right here. But I see this, that C13 next to this button is also missing. So I decided, but okay, probably it's working without any issues. The, the question is, is this working? So that's how I started to, uh, researching on the internet what's this button for and I, I found that on, uh, in the States on the 3 to 3 Protege, uh, the 6, the 3, all of them, they have with this kind of uh, remote control, they have a third button here, which is uh, a red one, circle one, with exclamation. You can actually buy cheaply a shell with three buttons from um, China. Uh, that button is actually for um, panic. So when you press it, then it uh, activates your alarm and starts uh, blinking also the blinks. So I decided I'm not going to use it, I don't get the function of it, uh, but I could use it for different stuff, like you press it and open the trunk, which is not so useful in a hatchback, but in a saloon it could be quite useful, you press it and it pops open all the way, it could be quite good. So I soldered it and I started poking around here to figure out which is which and now I have three wires which actually have three functions on them that are not in the documentation but they do exist and the wire that I have currently connected is exactly for this button now it's not straightforward wire because all it does doesn't matter if the car is uh, locked or not watch my multimeter when I press it uh, come on it inserts 200 to 300 millivolts and that's it so it's a brief impulse small brief impulse probably carry some data I don't know but what you could do is actually you could make an amplifier to feed to a transistor to power on a relay which will power on something else like uh, actuator for the trunk you can imagine stuff that could do. It's an additional button on your remote. That's so cool. You could do program it for anything. Uh, so that wire is at the clip side. I do not have my uh, my computer here, so I cannot just tell you a number from the documentation, unfortunately. But from the clip side, it's the fourth on the left on the right sorry fourth on the, the right that's the wire for um, for the panic button this wire right here supplies ground 
So this is the second wire on the same row from the clip side, second wire. This one supplies ground when you both lock and unlock your car. Now this one I do not find the particular use to it because I could actually take the signal from um, other places like door door lock mechanism no, not mechanism but the actuator of the door uh, or uh, the controlling uh, unit for it so I don't find it quite useful but still it's here so when I lock and that's unlock actually and when I lock in both cases it actually gives signal only once that's all it does uh, and the other one which is the more most interesting one because it's quite an easy modification you could do quite an easy and uh, pleasant modification with it is this wire now this wire it's the on the other side again let's count from the left the fourth again from the left uh, from the right damn it the other left <laughs> uh, so fourth from the right this one supplies again ground but this time differently once when locking so I lock like, like that I lock and it's once I unlock and it's twice this is um, quite useful for making your blinks blink whenever you lock or unlock your car so you have the signal the ground you just need one simple relay to close your uh, your wires that are in here I have another video with uh, install installing turn signal repeater and there I cover um, the wirings I actually have another video how the three pin relay works but on the video for the turn signal repeater I actually show here uh, lots of wires what you need to do with the relay is just connect two uh, two pairs of cables and that's it oh, your blinks are gonna blink beautifully uh, so I'm gonna do that modification, not right now, but in the near future. My alarm has this function. I have an aftermarket alarm. It it actually blinks, but it does blink only once. So right now, let's see, right now my car is unlocked. So if I press again unlock, as you can see, this blinks, but my alarm doesn't blink the blinks. Which I do not like. I would, I would prefer the car to actually uh, acknowledge that I have pressed the button it's much better same goes with the lock position I lock the car now the alarm uh, beeps and blinks but if I lock it again alarm doesn't do shit while here this actually blinks so this is a much better solution of course I don't I do not know if the alarm is gonna be happy with it but we'll see Okay, uh, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, an exclusive one. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing some cool modifications soon. Bye bye.